Hello and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. We have got a tamed gazelle. Gazelle 1. That's ours. Self-tamed. And we're now uh, trying to finish up these walls here. I've got a solar solar panel, but you know what? I'm also going to put a wind turbine here because I can't do this without steady power. So we're going to put that right there, and then run the power, just run it straight over, how's that? Okay, we'll get that going, and I'm going to have to probably, looks like I've mined all the steel out of there. Who's, who's the Miner 49er? I think Mac is. Mac is. What the hell? Stop! <clears throat> Mac, what's the matter with you? Oh, that's right. Infection miner. You treat me in four hours. Immunity 33%. And you're resting, so. Alright, we'll see if we can get this wall done. We've got the lights going in for a greenhouse. Slaver from the Doba of the Mesa. Yeah. Looks like our cold snap is far from over. I mean, it is over, uh, and our trees are growing back, but we now have some hard snow. Snow reduces the accuracy of ranged weapons, extinguishes fire, and slows people down. Snow is covering everything. <coughs> Alright, Maka, I wonder if you can get up and move around. I don't want to risk it. Okay, your immunity. Hey! <laughs> A wanderer joins. Who do we have here? Sharon! What can you do? Welcome to the colony. Uh, character. <clears throat> Sharon Lee, female villager of Pie in the Sky. Yes, now age 20. Childhood, you were a wreckage explorer. Adulthood, a veterinarian. Incapable of none. That's always a good sign. Traits, teetotaler. Green thumb. Pros prostophobe. Sharon believes the human body is limited for a reason. To her, bionic body parts are unethical. Okay. Animals, shooting, a little bit of construction and growing, but you can do everything. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. What do you have on you? A took armored vest, cloth parka. Can we arm you? Yes, we can. Sharon, let's give you the poor assault rifle. <clears throat> and then we're going to assign some work detail. Okay. Gun turrets. Oh! Gun turrets is finished. Excellent. Say okay. Hurdle did awesome. Alright, everybody firefights. Do that. Um, doctoring, bed rest, flick, warden. Cook while you only have. One cook here. Research. Uh, <clears throat> four. Construct. Two. You like to hunt. Alright, cut. Smith, no, not right now. Not right now. Crafting, hauling. Okay. <clears throat> what do we need done? We need uh, some mining done for steel. So Sharon, welcome aboard, and we're gonna put you to work. So get your gun, and 
What are you doing now? Digging at compacted steel. Alright, we'll leave you at that. <clears throat> Alright, how's our greenhouse coming? It looks like it's almost done. Maka? Now you're at a major infection. In it's tending now. <coughs> of man-hunting wargs have entered the area. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. They can't pass doors, so if you stay behind walls, you should be safe. They won't attack inactive turrets, so turn your turrets off if you want to save them. They'll leave the area in a few days. Oh, my God. Is it telling me that that they um, are almost invulnerable? Because I don't like that. <clears throat> Gazelle one. All right, let's put you into the carnation safe zone and muffalo. Carnation safe zone. <coughs> Chewy. I think, uh, let me, let me uh, adjust the carnation safe zone here for a second. That's this area right here, but I want to include the freezer, so. Uh, restrict, let's see, manage areas. Alright, so, come on. Let's see, hang on. <coughs> Okay, let's manage areas. It's carnation. Yep. All I want to do is extend the area, so. Hmm. I'm missing something here, so we've got to. Uh, okay, that's my home area right here. And. So click manage areas. I'm sorry about this, guys. Uh, can I do that? Area one. Nope. Hey, okay. I'm gonna pause this for a second, and uh, I'll figure this out so I don't have to put you through this. So I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just went down here to uh, expand a loud area, and I got the Carnation Safe Zone uh, set up. And so that should be right there. And then I think maybe... Oh, that was a little glitchy glitch there. Let's... Um, we're going to manage areas again, and um, Area 1 I will use for this area right here, so... Let's um, uh, I know. do this. Ah, I know. Area one. Okay, area one's gonna be here as well, and this will just be for our humans, colonists. Okay, so I'm gonna have everybody restricted to area one until these wargs go away. <clears throat> All right, back up. Area one. 
Very one. Okay. So let's see if you guys move. Sharon, you should be heading up. And Gazelle One should be heading towards this area as well. Alright. I said they leave the area in a few days. There's four of them. <clears throat> so I think I did everything correctly. And we have enough food. Jeez. Wargs are here. I now have a fire. No rain, I don't think. Oh. Boy. Uh. <clears throat> Sharon. God dang it. Alright. Hang on. Might have to sacrifice Sharon. You're not supposed to attack the walls. What's that? Okay, you're gonna go right through there, so... Jeez! Okay, guys, get the wargs. <coughs> well, they're killable, but I got one down. <laughs> we got two of the... Oh, jeez, they're wiping out the whole uh, caravan. Holy crap. Seriously. Wolfie's down. We got two of the three of the caravan people are are gone. Uh, we have one warg down. Wow. Everybody just relax. <laughs> you guys are sleeping in the freezer. Okay. <clears throat> Extreme break risk for Maca because of. Why? <clears throat> Maka, you're about ready to go psycho on everybody here. That was kind of funny. sleep in the freezer. Seriously? Not even the animals are sleeping in the freezer. Really? Hugh Root has died because of cold. That's right, I needed another uh, wall here. I actually put a door right here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, we have a door there. Door, door, door. And we'll put one there. Need 
guess if we're um, pemmican. <clears throat> Project tech level, tech level Neolithic, your tech level industrial, okay, passive cooler. Uh, we'll do the passive cooler because I think that might come in handy. I haven't even been able to even think about leaving the old area here and, and heading out. There's been too much crap happening and I'm not, uh, haven't been able to deal with it. But that's okay. We've got food poisoning. Somebody got sick. Severe illness. Maca, all right. <clears throat> we have some medicine left. You need treatment now, probably. And we've got to turn your heater on. It's set at 41, right? But I have no stored wood, so I can't put a campfire in here to increase the temperature. We are at minus two. Let's crank you up, see if you can heat a little bit more. Uh, <clears throat> from a right big toe. Seriously? All right. I don't think I can't treat you. Nope. Because you've already been treated, and you won't need tending for a while. fluctuating in here at zero and one. <clears throat> Guys, go away. Holy crap. Just waiting. I could try to tame the warg. Okay, you got power a little bit. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Alright, come on, stay on. Why is this... Alright, why... I got full solar charge on both panels. What is going on here? Alright, Mecca. Infection major developed immunity. We'll need tending in four and a half hours. So does that mean <clears throat> the danger might have passed a little bit? But we do have a major break for Chewy as well. Okay, how's our... while I'm waiting, let's... <clears throat> our gazelle has got some obedience training in. And where's the muffalo? Not the same. Well, if it's not one thing, it's another around here. Just waiting for these wargs to clear out. Pemmican. Lone pemmican. <clears throat> oh, jeez, look at that. Consuming human corpse. 
So four of the caravan members. Better them than us. Yeah, I'm glad I got had food stored. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to take care of this energy issue over here as soon as these warg beasts leave the area. <clears throat> Boy, they're covering every square inch. They're trying to find a way in. are all gone and we can get some new traps. Oh, don't tell me you're sleeping. Now would be a good time to pop out and shoot your ass. But not going to do it. Mecca healed? Where's Mecca? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sleeping in the freezer. That makes sense. <clears throat> Let's just do this. And we're going to give this to Mecca. Get out of the freezer. Cleaning dirt. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Seriously? Nope, you didn't. You're still, you're wandering now. <clears throat> oh boy. Come on, wargs, what are you? Did you die? Yes, okay, so there's only, what, two left? Okay, there's one. And you're dead, so... Oh, I just have one left. How long before you die? Death in 6.2 hours. Okay. That might take care of our problem instead of waiting for him to leave. <clears throat> so we'll have some warg steaks. That's always good. We've got some pemmican here. Heel root has died. Yes, okay. 4.9, you're sleeping. I wonder... I wonder if... How long are you going to be sleeping? So if I could... Let's see. 3.7. Maybe I could just give everybody... Unrestricted. And... That warg will hopefully die before ah, sorry home before uh, that becomes an issue again <clears throat> so where's the gazelle there's the gazelle all right get everybody back to work all right everybody's uh okay yep all right oh that's right. Mental break. Go juice binge. Uh oh. Who? Maka. <clears throat> the final straw. My wife red died. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Injecting go juice. And what does this do? A synthetic combat drug developed for Space Marines. Go juice blocks pain and increases users' melee and shooting abilities. It also enhances movement speed. Military chemists who created it were never able to re remove its addictiveness. Some saw this as a downside, others saw it as a benefit. Alright. Where's our other you dead pretty soon? 2.7 hours. Um 
Where's the... Okay. Maca... Sharon's still sleeping, but can we haul the warg? Yep. I gotta keep an eye on this warg up here. And where's the pemmican? Got some pemmicans been hauled already, that's good. And let's get you to haul the other. And there's another warg right there. Where's this one? Are you almost dead? Death in 1.6 hours. Sharon, when you hold that pemmican, I'm going to see if you can sneak up there and get that other dead warg. <coughs> what you doing? Dead for a day, fresh, frozen. Maka, can you, are you good at anything? Can you do anything at all? No. Chewy, you stay doing what you're doing. And let's see if you can, nope. Cargo pods. You still sleeping? Yes, you are. Where's the pods? They're down here. Medicine lit. <laughs> You're downed, and the red fox is killing the warg. Oh, <laughs> awesome! All right. On that note. Yeah, we're going to take another little break as, uh, since this fox has taken care of our dirty dirty work for us. Hope you're enjoying RimWorld. Uh, too much going on here. It's a mess. It's a confusing mess. Hope you're enjoying the series. Catch you later.